Hey guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we have Kita Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had as much energy as her. But hey guys, I brought her here today. We're going to talk about the challenges that single mothers face and also how to overcome them because I believe she has and she's a perfect example. You know, I, I always think to myself, if it ever happened to me, I would definitely do it that way because at the end of the day when you have a child it's not a death sentence that I mean your life has ended so she's going to talk about her story and then I will chip in asking her about the challenges mm -hmm. so she can say when she became a single mom and the challenges that she faced mm -hmm. because I need cheers <laughs> today I don't, I'm not ready to do it <laughs> I'm in the presence of <coughs> class but I'm not having any make it in your stuff thank you so much Kathy. you're welcome you're welcome. welcome what do you guys want to know so okay. tell us your journey like when did yeah. you become a mom and um how it was for you the experience and the challenges you faced to get to where you are today because mm -hmm. there's someone like i was telling you before who maybe knows that and sees you here and wonders how did she do it can i do it myself mm -hmm. you know when you get pregnant when you're young during our times you know pregnancy was like a disease death, death sentence it was the worst thing you could tell your mm -hmm. parents like we're afraid of pregnancy than aids mm -hmm. eh? Mm. Exactly. And so tell us how you, you went through the challenges and just how you overcame. Yeah, just speak. There's a girl out there who's maybe going through the same, is afraid, yeah. encourage them. Yeah. Well, obviously, my story is not a new story, Kathy. Mm -hmm. I have told it over and over again. And I was reading somewhere and someone was saying, never get tired of telling your story. No, never. Because uh, the teenage pregnancy menace is still there. Mm -hmm. it's, girls are still getting pregnant in high numbers. They're still dropping out of school. The stigma is still the same yeah. it's still the same I'm, I'm i'm shocked like nothing has changed people no matter how much information you put out out there things are still the same um i became a mom at 19. <laughs> you know the way we grew up like pack up from four virgin mm. and you know mm. like mm. the one the first one will marry me hey, hello and behold <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, that's what you used to believe. That's what you yeah. thought. Mm. Now laugh and then you discover, you mm. eat the fruit and then now you continue eating the fruit. You uh -huh. Yeah, and the result. Mm. Consequences come. Consequences. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, yeah, definitely it was a shock. Um, I didn't understand because you know when you're growing up, also as mothers, we keep telling our daughters, like that's the most, um, you don't talk to your children. No. The most you tell them, Ujo ume, ume mea matichasa, utapata mm. mimba. And you know even how you're going to get it, you don't know. You're right, because I remember I was in campus first year mm -hmm. and I was so terrified yeah. because my mom was like, you're going to campus mm -hmm. and camp in campus people get pregnant. Yeah, you get pregnant. I was so mm -hmm. traumatized. I was mm -hmm. so scared that I used to be the last one to come to class mm -hmm. and the first one to leave. You know, I don't know if I thought I'm going to get pregnant with osmosis, but, yes, but exactly. for me, it, my first year of campus, I didn't talk to any boy. Mm -hmm. I didn't talk to anyone because I was so afraid of getting pregnant. Exactly, exactly, Kathy. And because I talked to so many girls and we assume because up Nairobi, I'm up you know, middle class. I'm a junior up. You assume mm. like people know. Mm. You go to the ground because I do that a lot, mm. and these kids have no oh, information whatsoever. I had no idea there was something like a morning after pill. Oh, Korajo, Miss Korajo, I took my Okay. So when my friend, when a friend told me, I went actually one month later. I was at I swear, like I think the chemist looked at me. The pharmacist, the chemist, the pharmacist looked at me. Akashanga, what is wrong with this girl? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, we are not talking to our children. We are not. We are using threats. Utapata mimba. Ujua uta uta toka kwa inyumba. Ujua uta we toka peke yako. So my mom. Was a very strict mom, definitely. Me, I couldn't go to disco. I couldn't boys. Okay, but I'm boys. You finished. So did you discover? Since you are out of the country, I was in Uganda. So now I have freedom, and I don't know what to do with it. So like any other innocent girl, a girl meets boy, and you're like in love, and then now we discover. Ooh, okay. So it is not that bad. You know, you are told sex is bad. You will die when you have sex. We demonize sex. We don't tell our kids it's a good thing. But at the right time, and also understanding the consequences the consequences of sex as so ne, i'm pregnant i have to come back home luckily i was like a tiny girl so after five months so i come back home my mom was away for an assignment so i knew she was coming back i write her a letter and i tell her mom i'm pregnant of course break her heart you know you break the family apart mm, sometimes mm. because your dad is like sides they you, people pick sides you know it was just chaos like mm. you can imagine mm. so now picking up the pieces together was mm. another thing like i actually 
had to know that I have messed up. This is my re- responsibility. My mom made sure. Mm. Na mimi ngefanya hivyo. Na kwani niko na mshua four. Good. Breast. Okay na, okay na, okay na, okay na. Sasa wewe ni mama, wewe ni mama, uwezi amka saa 4. Like. Siku uko unataka? Ndio hii. Eh, ndio hii sasa. Mm. Ujue mama, mm. wanamkanga saa 10 warafua na napi. Daipa uko na pesa? I don't have. So okay, even if you don't have, we keep asking so that you feel bad to yes. make sure you Ooh, know you don't have. Oh, my in. Like, I, I, but it was good because mm. I knew now, like, I'm not the same. You mm. see your friends going out. Mm. So, unenda mm. happy? Unachia mtoto nani? But ni ukweli unachia mtoto nani? Hata mi ungeni achia. Eh. Because yeah. her, her, she's done her thing. She's, she's yeah. raised you. Yeah. So, as in these things just hit me so hard and I knew, like, by the way, ni mimi na mtoto wangu mm. hapas and I have to do things. And I kept, I used to stay up at night just telling god i am sorry first and foremost mm. but i'm going to pick my pieces together and and move on and then i i didn't okay i didn't know what a vision board is mm. but i used to discuss discuss it with god i said by 24 mm. i want to have been able to move to my own house taken my child uh maybe i wanted to be a journalist a newscaster mm. mm-hmm. maybe working at one of the tv stations mm. ktn yeah. citizen and yeah. tv exactly and I, I told God please and I know people are laughing at me right now I'm the laughing stock in the village mm. the family you know how it is please just give me something that is gonna put them to shame I know nimekosea but I also des- I don't deserve this no, everyone deserves a second eh, chance the, the ujaua so mtu si kwa estate mm. si wapi so mm. I know I have done wrong but I do also don't deserve this please help me shush my enemies and to this day he's been shushing shushing them <laughs> True, 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 true that. Uh, okay, they were not my enemies. They were just like, what is the society in America? Mm. If you're pregnant, then you're a loose woman. Mm-hmm. You understand? Did you go back to school? I did. Luckily, my mom, my mom is woke. If I would say I woke mom, she's mm. a, ooh, she's fire, but she's woke. <laughs> mm-hmm. And she was like, you know what? She has to go back to school and you have to get something. So I went back to school, nice. uh, to college. And I went back to school. I went back to school. Three, four. Nisha pigiwa. Eh? Mtoto wana kungojea nyonye. So huku rudishwa Uganda? Ungeza mungine? Hata bibi dike kupasi. So I went to KCC. Now it's called Multimedia University to study journalism and mass communication. And siku maliza. Kate. Kanya benyue hanini? Gai. Gai. Tasa. We are the mummies. Ako kawa nini. Gai. <laughs> you can imagine my mom now. <laughs> But what happened is I got a job. Mm-hmm. I loved acting mm-hmm. from a young age. Mm-hmm. So I was cast in Mother in Law. It was oh, the biggest good. show in the country. Yeah. I didn't even know that was a fast show. Yeah. And do you know why I quit at the time? For the first time Kathy ever, I got my paycheck and Kathy I could too. go to a supermarket and buy my For kid pampas. I buy him everything pampas what and diapers. Mm-hmm. I buy I buy as in the f- I felt so good and I was like I'm going to work so hard. But it's so the, my mom the was joy crazy. of the work of your hands the work of my hands but sasa i got swallowed up with the party life you know see the other actors are going after payday they are going to kumeza ombe anjeri ndeda ndeda atakuwa kawa anjeri kafi imagine kafi and then jerry ah ndio maana nakupenda wewe kio wewe ndio maana nakupenda jerry wako atakuwa hivi na yakikuwa hivi ndio good for bit good for bit so um So I drop out of college and my mom of course is crazy uh because of I want to fit in I'm still young I'm, I'm still a young girl I'm 22 21 because I joined citizen at 21 mm. I'm still a young girl I want to have that party I want to date but now I forget I am a mom mm-hmm. and my mom could not take it she was like you're going to leave this child here and get out of my house peke yako nimefukuzwa sasa bila mtoto eh hey. Oh, she wasn't going to risk her grandson getting into this nonsense. But get to go to go with problems to Bob. Mangori, Mangori unifuata. Anyway, so we move out with my cousin. We rent a house in Nuo. Seriously, you moved out. You didn't say sorry and, and just say I'm not going out again. It's not sorry with my mom. My mom will okay. kill you. She killed me once. So, <laughs> we rent out a house in Maringo estate. Yeah. I'll give her Max. I know she has guts. No, no, she's where she's today. She has guts. Me, I'll be living on that floor, mom. I'm sorry, I've changed. I had done too much. There was no sorry now. So, to me buy a mattress. Me na cousin yangu Tina, mother-in-law, bestest cousin ever. To me as a life, to na lapa kwa chini kwa mattress. I'm more go be like like na letter. Eh, sini masalem sayo si tu kwa citizen. Eh, so to kanza life kidogo kidogo then we moved to Moja kidogo kidogo we moved to Abridge. Eh, so when I got to when I say earning better because I I worked so hard kid. I was Kathy. I was an extra. I became the main in the show. I was like I was everyone was talking about Selena, Selena, Selena and before I knew it I landed a deal. Mhm. You know, like I by prayer was to become I never I've never thought I would even make a million before I'm 25. I 
my first yeah. deal is even more and i was like oh my god okay what's happening and this is from the cha the girl who was pregnant yes. at 19 yes. and five years later yeah. fine she's she's done what she's done yeah. mistakes do happen do. life is also happening because she's growing up she's mm -hmm. growing up she's still a mom mm -hmm. but that that voice inside her tells mm -hmm. her always fight always fight. fight even when you feel like chini mm -hmm. kabisa always fight and i get my deal and i'm like anyway but kathy before i even go on you know there's something yeah. i never talk about mm -hmm. like how was dating like that one i'm coming to oh you're coming after like, now making yeah. the oh, video so like, when did you pick sister, the baby the ambassador mm. so i'm the ambassador now uh, <clears throat> I don't know what to do with this money. Baka ni kwenda kwa accounts na igiza card na angalia. Na sama tu. Ata saki ku withdraw. Muli kwa na ITM. Muli kwa na ITM. Gay. I don't know. I always joke and this is a topic for another day. Yeah. I always tell people. Si hu kwa na signature. But you get a job. Baka waleo ni mbaa kapisa. You get a job. When they hire you, they ask you the first thing. Uko na account. Si na account. Si jayi kwa na ITM. I can only account for my sins. Yes. So I'm going to come calling that we're going to be signing. Ah, Kiri, you remember? Excuse me, kiddo, go and practice. Juicy na signature. So I can imagine me the first day I got the account to come here. ATM card to come and get it. Eh. I can't go and say imagine I'm going to come here. Catherine, welcome. You know the way they tell you, do sorte. Welcome. So I can imagine how that felt. I wish you get bigger screenshot. You know, I'm like, who can I screenshot? You know, I'm saying, Kona. Yeah. So now I'm happy. I'm like, gosh, I'm rich. I want to do everything for my child now. I don't want Milo anymore. Yeah. My mom, my mom is trying to advise me. I'm listening, but you know, like, I'm like, I want to spoil my friends. If you've been there for me, you know that time. I, Pesa, Pesa Isha, Pesa Isha, Pesa Isha. Thank God, welcome. Only fifty percent. Hey, Nikona here. So come in, Zaisha. Why are you just attacking Chazo? And that's when I started growing. But that time, I was already dating a man who was like really interested in helping me grow and really, you know, he helped me create now this brand. And also, I think structure and organize your talent because it was there, but it was not structured and organized. I was all over. If you told him today, if you told him then that I would be his wife now, Angakata. That's how we do feel. Eh, so sorry, Kona Shanga. He used to find us on the table. Because if you go to a zip, I'm going to be busy. I'm going to go up as a sasa. Tacos. Eh, tacos. I'm going to go to a As in, he used to find us so lost. Like... Because in his personality is very organized. He's very chilled. He's very organized. Kila mtu likuwa like, ah, ume ya tatuambia tuende home. You know, he was that guy. Atuko tunampenda. So that gets me to the question. Mm -hmm. I know there's that stigma, and it's a stigma that I've seen many women struggling with. Mm -hmm. And I was telling you earlier, I, for me, I don't think a woman having a kid, whether you're single or not, or whether you're married, mm -hmm. you got divorced and you have children, I don't yeah. think it's a death sentence. Mm -hmm. In our African society, mm -hmm. um, if you have kids, let's say you're divorced and you have kids, mm -hmm. or let's say you're even widowed, yeah. People expect you to not move on. You can get to a point where you're always mourning on. I'm single. We do not move. We go shocky and back and let's go to Kufa. It's all the same, like men. And that's why I actually wanted to us to do this video. Tell women, like you can go back and date, reclaim your life. So tell us your experience. You don't need to feel like when a man likes me and likes my child, they're doing me a favor. I know that's that's a very bad, poor perception that we I still call say we because it was the b yeah. biggest part of my life mm. that i lived and i feel like people don't understand out there like there's there's so many reasons why women are single mothers mm. Mm. like some are widowed like you said yeah. some is out of rape oh, yes some are just you know there's divorced, so many divorced and you don't even understand why they are divorced you understand but we get on like the single mom mm. she's loose mm. she can't keep her home mm. so you need, like we are very very backward way of thinking yeah. and it's even to the other day because i i was a teacher in a garden teacher mm -hmm. so i used to see julie used to annoy me mm -hmm. so you know we have these 844 papers where uh, was it CRA? we used mm -hmm. to talk about a uh, nuclear family yeah. Yeah. so the option the a b c d mm -hmm. was mom dad so then a child asks and and my family my setup at home is not mom dad and mm -hmm. me uh -huh. so then they say it's just mom and me mm -hmm. and even in our education it is Inbuilt. Exactly. So that single child mm. comes home and tells you, Mom, I didn't answer that question, mm. meaning I, I lost know. on that, those marks. Yeah. But why do they make the assumption that it's mm. Mom, Dad, and you exactly. know, so stigma is from you to the kids. So even from the whole system, yeah. Mm. Uh, so for me, dating life was like I was just a girl who's 21. By the time I think after 19, after but I'm totally got two years. Niki Jifkira, Niko Nesima. Mimi Aman, I am done. It's me and my child for the rest of my life. M2 Semanga Ivo. So I talk to you a little bit about Semanga. Mimi Tenani. But you are doing with us. The easiest thing to forget is pain. The things you say in the labor ward, never again until. It's like having a hangover. Niki Jifkira. 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 Niki Jifkira
uh, I'm dating. <clears throat> and um, I remember the first guy I dated immediately after was a very nice guy, mm. by the way. But I had so many scars. But That's another thing. Mm. When you move from that one relationship that really broke you, you don't even recognize a good one. Mm. Cause even a good person. Eh, who only me? Cause I say you got a man who men on a good. You just want to make money. Yes, I met a very nice guy in mm. campus, and it's because of the way I used to handle myself. When mm. I went to, back to campus, and like what other girls do, they'll hide. Mm. So I remember the first orientation day in school. I stood up. We were introducing oh. ourselves. I said, "Hi, my name is Catherine Kamau. Uh, I am a mother of one." Oh, nice. Like, I can see you juice. You have confidence. Sni, you understand? I was so proud of where I was. And everyone was looking at me. And the whole class was like, you know, they were so curious, they wanted to know. And then I had like five of five mothers coming to me and saying, like how I, from then, like it's like I had broken the stigma even before it started. So I'm a mom. So sometimes I'm uh tunasoma, my breast leak. Yeah, no. So sit and talk with each other. When I join, I'm like, "Oh, I need, I Even the lecture, I'm like, "Oh, I need help." Let's just go out in a pump. Be dela pump is of two zero. And then I pump the door. Hmm. Now we're pesa. Ha! The only it was crazy. Mm. So I started uh, owning, owning my situation in my life at very at the ongoing from the start. Even the guy I was dating then, like he knew from the beginning. So and, you never hid your child. Eh, like, Ati, when I go for lunch, Aki, I can't have to go breastfeed. Mm. Yeah, I never mean you're going to machine that going to Anyway, so I didn't it didn't work out because I was so scarred. I was still so attached to the father of my child. I did not Yani, I didn't work. Uh, and then after that, okay, here I am now. I've healed. I'm doing well in my career. You're I'm really doing so. You're young. But now you start meeting. I don't want to say douchebag. Okay, just come out. Mm -hmm. Um Men who think they're doing you a favor. Yeah, because you have a child, so eh? Eh. you're lesser than... And even, not even them, even you yourself, you start wanting to settle for less. Mm. Like, I'm a kubali ni konam toto. Which is... It's a very twisted way of Please thinking. get it out of your mm. mind. Mm. You're so amazing. You're mm. so... Just by overcoming where, what you've overcome, mm. you're extraordinary. No one is doing you a favor, darling. Most, no one. Most people do not, have not yes. have kept the baby. Yeah. And I'm so, not saying the ones who've kept have done anything bad. I'm yeah. just saying you chose to be brave. Manze, yeah. you're, you're, you're just amazing. Mm. And um, I, I I plunged into that of a series of dating people. I don't think they were out of... <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're from... <laughs> <laughs> check it. <laughs> but you see, they were part of my character and development. Of, to get you to where you are. <laughs> to where, yeah. Me. At the time, they were fine to me. Mm. They were fine. I mean, they were not bad people. Mm. It's mm. me, like how I viewed myself, how I perceived myself back then. And even how you wanted the relationship. You didn't think of it as mm -hmm. my husband or creating a home for my child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just just have, I just wanted to have a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. You understand? Someone so it was not them. The it was more me. Mm -hmm. It was more me. And that is where we get, we get wrong. Anyway, so a um, few years then, and you're like, you start realizing, wait, I, need, I deserve better. Mm -hmm. You know, I deserve better. I don't deserve to, to be living this kind of life. Mm -hmm. I deserve a better man. And then mm -hmm. you start seeing examples of women who have, you know, overcome. Mm -hmm. And you're like, you who know do you have in mind of like a woman that. who you felt, even if it's not in Kenya, in Venezuela, mm -hmm. who would you relate to then when you'd feel like, you know what, I can, I can have my home, I yeah. can have my husband. Yeah. Who comes to mind? Uh, my auntie. Oh, nice. Her name is Catherine as well. <laughs> Catherine's are not for jo yeah. Yeah, joking. So uh, she used to drive this powerful helix. And then I used to watch her wear her stockings and her nice. So her perfume is a bit. So oh, let me tell you her <laughs> perfumes. She had those ones of Bobo. Of. <laughs> so I was her favorite <laughs> niece. So I used to be in her room a lot. So she used to need her perfume, her car, her house. You know, and I was like, hey, you know what? It can be done. I want to be, I want to be like this. It can be done. Mm. It can be done. So she gave me so much, so much confidence. Thank, thank you so Wherever much. You are, Auntie, thank Auntie you. Catherine, thank you so much. Mm. Like you really, really did a lot for me. And I, and I, from then on, Nikajo, by the way, I and she have. actually took me out for lunch when I was pregnant. And she told me, this is not the end. Good, you have to be great. Hard. You have to be great. So, um, my, my ladies, um, you can't settle for less. At this time, they will meet you. Sina ubaya, sikuwa ubaya, mm. wea ni unafa ude tuwa levi, mm. watu wa ajijui, mm. ati watu wetu wa mejiachilia mm. juru. Bora tuwa na ameni kubali na toto. Mm. Wea, please. Mm. Apa, na wewe. You deserve to you have deserve. an amazing relationship, yes. Yes. a man for you, yeah. and him loving your child is just part of the package. Yeah, the there package. is no kid without her son. Hakuna 
tumeshonda mm. and you know Kathy what happened um i when i started dating when Phil and i started dating mm. there's something he told me the reason why i decided to get serious with you is the way you loved your son and even the way you take up responsibilities for me i'm yeah. I'm, not, I'm not a man yeah. but that's why i usually have mm. a hard time mm. reconciling mm. between for me i think if I was a man, it's very attractive yeah. to me. Yeah. When I see a woman embracing herself, mm -hmm. when I see a woman who's hardworking, yeah. then I ask, what do men want? Isn't yeah. that attractive? Kathy, what we really go wrong is, you see, he said the way you love your son. Mm. What happens is, and it's very normal, mm. you fall in love as a single mom. You lose yourself because mm -hmm. you don't want to lose this man. So if he's living, you're living separately, you want to spend, you spend more time in his house than your house. Mm. You want to be with him all the time than, than you are. And it's very normal because so you start neglecting your son and your own house do you know what they notice yeah because for me what, what i found what i found attractive about mike is he's taking care of his kids so i thought to myself mm. Quite a mm. so if he can so raise like, hey, it's a total so for actually, me that told me i knew if i get kids with you <laughs> yeah. they're safe thank you they're safe and they're sorted exactly. and you take care of your responsibilities mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that is very attractive yeah and he's the one who actually encouraged me told me that like now your brand is doing well mm. you're making good money mm. like you need to go get him now mm. which was a process you know moms and grand okay, grandmas and grandsons yeah. my mom was like oh this is my only but grandchild it took time, but she could also see an mm. pali, safe, pali yeah. pazuri. Actually, yes, that's another thing. Sometimes parents, most mm. times, they're mm. very right. She has to see, mm. who is this you're dating? Mm. And can I release my child mm. to them? So Phil really, had to prove himself. Thank you. Yeah. What I'm missing here, Moromia. Yeah, he mm -hmm. had to end. But he really guided me, and I was able to take him. I was, I mean, I think that was the happiest day of my life. Because I had moved in one year to a two-bedroom. I had make, I had make curtains. Like for a whole year, before, before I was in a weekend, 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 and then now we started warming. Him and Phil, I'm sure best the relationship was Ile, but boys. Oh. Like my son was like, this is my mom. Like, baka alikuwa nakuja na ambia feel, eh, si, si ukuja ulale kwa rumi yangu, it's nice, and then me sleep in mommy's room. Oh, cause mommy ni wangu. Eh, una zoya mama angu, basa, na unijaz. I always say that, like, when I met yeah. Mike, yeah. I keep doing a boy, I say, you yeah. know, I used to sleep in a bed, then I have these other four kids. Yeah. Mindi yo nataka usi, as, usiku kuenda kula kwa rumi gire, because ikcha na yiko natu wa sita. Because yeah. for him and his kids, yeah. they, they were so close. Ooh. So by the time it took time for me, yeah. kwekisle ni natoto that mama na baba ula lapa moja, eh. aki it took me like seven eh. months. Liona likuwa nga hapo. Mwami Leona is anala nawe, Philip, Philip, he used to call him Philip. Siyo talala kwa rumi yangu, it's nice, it's spooky and it's nice. I'm like, oh my gosh. But, but he took it in his, in, in his yeah. tired and you're graceful. Mm. Because you also have to understand this child mm. is wants to build trust want yeah. to know are you here for the long run exactly it so be time. patient if yeah. you're a partner who is yeah. meeting someone with kids be patient this is not about you mm. Yeah. Mm. and also as a woman please don't stop imposing mm. a man on your child please at the, maybe next week oh daddy uh, uh, like, uh, uh, it takes it takes time it takes and men who are serious about you and what when in your child they take their time mm. also they want to have a relationship with your child to understand your child because it wasn't easy and I feel is one in a million. No, he is. We can see it. He doesn't speak much, but we can see it. Yeah, but so <laughs> a woman is one in a million. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah, so um, thank you, Phil, because it's an, ex it's an example to society for other women yeah. to, to learn that. The idea of what families was has to can change. It has to change. It has to change. And Kathy, we are so right. many. I don't think I marriage is for everyone. Away. Please, maybe you have see your Maybe it's not even your calling. Because me, you have to see marriage now and your calling. It's a calling. Where? Where? It's a calling. It's a calling. It's and you can imagine with her personality, it is a calling. Yeah, it may not yeah. be for you. Be for you. Don't, don't force it. It happens to you, God. Thank you, Lord. If it doesn't, please move on with your child and be happy. But also, come on, you're your widowed. Stop killing yourself. Mm. Mm. And life is for the Please. So live your life. That again. Everyone deserves to be My mom said, um, a, friend, a friend was telling me, your kids will leave you. Mm. Oh. But then you don't owe your kids anything. Okay. They will leave you there. Guys, alone. I was, I was telling them the other day for me, in a year's time, I won't have a child in my house. Mm. Okay. Mm. And so I'm so glad because when I started, because seeing my mom who when my dad died mm. and she dated, there's one thing I learned from my mom, mm. life moves on. Life 
Yeah. And I always joke when I came home and I saw it for another day when I met a guy at home, I was, mm. I was shook. Yeah. Then my mom is saying to her, so for me, I've always known, mm. I have kids, there's Kathy the mom, mm. there's Kathy the wife, and then there's Kathy the me, the, the girl. Yes. So for me, my kids are living now, and what is keeping me sane is because I have a life of my own. Exactly. So uh, it's important to know that your kids do come and go, mm -hmm. and it's very important for you and your partner to yeah. know that you're a team. Kabisa. That this, the kids are there, it's temporary, they go, they mm -hmm. go, they have their mm -hmm. own life. So you and Phil have to be a team. Mm -hmm. You don't owe them anything by the apart from your responsibility to me, but you are mm. to make sure you take care of them. It's a responsibility by God. After that, they will leave. Mm -hmm. You and your partner need me. And, I keep telling guys, me and Phil, see my friends. boys, ask your friends. Like that was from the beginning. We are friends, we are cool peeps, yani. And he keeps telling his kids, and I'm being by then, you know, like you're saying, now Jerry needs to go to her room because I won't say she up. I mean, but you have a young one, a story. And I like that fact of her, you know, exactly. you know tell exactly. the kids that she's my girlfriend first before she was your mom. Mm, she was your mom, it's true. I and uh, really yeah, important. and I think that's where most women are. They're stuck. They're like, okay, their dad left, he died. I don't know how to move on. I, I need to be there for my kids. They don't want to see you. Because yeah, you have course. nothing to yourself. Thank you. you know, and you never created a life for exactly. yourself. Exactly. Yeah, if you not have a life of your own. Yes, date yeah. again. I mean, come date on. Date again, put yourself outside there. Mm. And like I said, when you put yourself outside there, there you see, when they live with your child. Mm. Um, on that note, I'm going to talk about, I know we have other influences around our relationship, not mm. only you and Phil. Mm. We have in-laws, we have mother-in-laws, your own mom. I'm not saying here it's specifically to a certain side of the family, mm. but we also have what? external pressure. Mm, external pressure. And I feel like sometimes if you're the one who came with a child, the other partner mm. is meant to feel, they make you feel like, mtoto wetu say amekuja kurumia, kulia mtoto wako, our kid, eh. did you ever feel that? You're, um, you're uh, it a charity case. Eh. Um, well, definitely, mm. as in you can feel the energy. Sometimes mm. you don't have to be told, mm. but it wasn't pleasant. You know, you can see it and you can feel the sneaky comments and what and what. But I think I was pretty much so sure of myself and i knew what i'm bringing to the table mm -hmm. like i'm not a charity case mm -hmm. i was doing well with my child even before so your son is not coming to rescue us mm -hmm. we are good mm -hmm. and i think for every woman it doesn't matter where you are in life is the way you carry yourself no you step in there with the authority mm -hmm. yeah i'm not here i'm not a charity your son loves me mm -hmm. yeah and you are not i know people there's this I don't know. You can choose to, to, to make it a debate, but you don't marry. Africans will say you marry into the family. Mm -hmm. But I think that is very narcissistic. You marry your partner. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because after Nairobi, Asai, Amadunia, Asai, how often do you go to your in-laws? It's, it's, it's just true. you and you, you know, and you're creating boundaries with your partner. And I don't know whether men understand this thing. If you stand up for your woman, yes. you give her so much confidence. You understand? See, even, even her loyalty. Mm. Mm. Kila saa analia. Every time menda ushago, mkirudi analia. Kuna anti ya mesema kitu. Kuna anti ya mesema kitu. Ame kujana. You see, like, all of them won't see the child at the same time. Mm. Yeah? So, kuna anti ya mekuja leo ndo wa mwana mtona nasema, eh, hey, kwane na, anakwa gana mtoto. Uh, okay, again. Okay, okay, nake. Nwa wako nake. Mm. That's what they say. Nwa wako nake. Mm. Like, it's very, very, it's disgusting. But mm. I, I think I had made it clear mm. to feel and to communicate to his family because you can't. Me, if I see any any mistreatment towards mm -hmm. my son. Ah, Mimi, that's a deal breaker. Na Mimi sinanga kesho. Na Mimi sinanga kesho. Ah, Mimi, ah, no, no, sayo, sayo. Because the child, if you have anything, if you have an issue, take it up with me. Mm -hmm. But my mommy law was, she, sh she shocked me. Mm -hmm. Her relationship and Leon is, is amazing. From good. day one, mm -hmm. uh, we had our own issues, but when it came yeah, to my son, to as in that, I, I admired the way she handled it. Because she, ga she gave Leon a grandma. She, yeah, she, and he felt accepted and he was like, ah, are we going to see this show? show? Like, I felt like, okay, fine. I think you'd be willing to work through any issues that you might have between you because of, because of the way. So even moms, if mtoto wako akikuja na mtoto mwingine, huo ni mtoto, huo mtoto hana hatia yoyote. Then watu wame fall in love. As in, what have they done? They're just in love. Yeah. The best you can do is support them. If you're seeing a problem, there's always a way to communicate, to communicate it. Yeah. yeah, because sometimes you'll keep nagging them and you pull them away from mm. you. The more mm. you keep nagging, the more that son of yours won't come home. Because mm. you know what? Sometimes I have influence. Not sometimes, I have influence over him. That's why he married me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
but it's true. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I truly understand what you mean. Sometimes as parents, we need to focus on the happiness of our children. Yeah, true. And, and out of experience, sometimes you have doubt of certain mm. relationships. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was dating Mike, there are many people, mm -hmm. even his friends, who are like, hey, this Kayang girl, are you sure? She's the one. Mm. She's so young. So she's not after. Yeah, she's 18 years mm. uh, younger than you. She mm. after money. First of all, I cook one pesa. She's doing pesa gani. Mm. But you know, it's it's only normal for the society to say such things. Yeah. And now, over time, you can only be firm, be a team, be partners, and yeah. be a team, a team in your yeah. relationship. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, Paul is going to say, "Hey, mm -hmm. And now, look, it's 14, 15 years later, and I But you know, Kathy, there's something that my mom told me, like mm. when things were getting so heated up, mm. and I was like, you know what, mom? Ah, ne ne ne, it's not the way it's done, Trump. Hey, come on, attack I'm independent. I don't need my mom to be calm down. Mm. You need to understand that he's also someone's son. The mother had the other dreams. Point. The, the mother point. had other dreams. Ah, yeah. I wanted to ask you the same question. Yes. If Leon Leo yeah. and Gekuja na ma, na mstana, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. What's the scenario? Mm -hmm. Five years older than him, mm -hmm. maybe has two children. Yeah. At a a bit concerned. Yeah. My mom put it into perspective. Mm. Hey, wait, 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 sit down. Let me tell you, you're a mother to a who? Mm. Sit down. Philip's mom. That's the only son. Mm. She had her own dreams mm. for her son. And it's mm. okay for any mom to be concerned. And then my mom was like, you're my daughter. Mm. You're doing well. Mm. How do I know this man is not coming How here to take advantage do? of you? Even me, have my own have fears. Your, your... And she, Philip has never forgotten. My mom said, if Philip here, he has the things I have said about him mm. when he's not there, he wouldn't be happy. Mm. So why are you getting so emotional, emotional and thinking and it's a personal attack yeah. to Catherine as a person? No, these it... are children. You're our, you're our babies, no matter mm. how grown you are. Mm -hmm. and, the, and you'll tell me when Leon is getting married, it will be the same, same thing. Thank you. Yeah. And so sometimes you have not to take it personally. Extend grace. Thank you. Extend yeah. grace. Give mm. it time. Um, mm. Be yourself, like you said. Yeah. There's one thing I'm going to tell you. Please be yourself. Please. 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 You just well, don't need... Don't... Because what you show them from the beginning is what, how it's you going to go. It. And also, you feel like you owe them something, so you want to spoil the family. Mm. Be, be yourself. Mm. Be yourself. It, by the way, sometimes it's so you can't help it. Because mm. you know you're trying to show them. Mm. Like, and me, I had so much to prove because I'm this TV girl. I'm crazy. Mm. So your pressure I'm every, was more. It was so much. But then I realized, ah, <sighs> Philip, mm. I'm good. Not to, exactly. Yeah. So ladies, um, anyone who is in a situation where they are single yeah. or trying to date, I hope this um, video helps you yeah. and it gives you encouragement mm -hmm. and come out. For me, I think my biggest struggle with single ladies, and I've seen it, I've seen it with my friends, mm. is you never bring yourself out there. Mm. Like Kate said, try. The hey. frogs you will kiss. Just because one man broke your heart, yeah. doesn't mean that you, there are no good men. Just one there. divorce. You're yeah, dead. just one divorce, Aye. you're dead. Thank you. I've been married 55 times. Me, like, me, Elizabeth Taylor. You know what I'm saying? Next year, Rusi. Exactly. So we all deserve to be yeah, happy. Yeah, because you need to leave. And no man will come to your door and say, Hi, Kate, I'm here. 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 By if you are 21, way. pack a 50. Guy, please, can you stop that? Just relax. You know, even my uncle, mm -hmm. now my mother, my father used to beat I was my mother. Like that when, we were, yeah. when we were just chatting before the video, I don't see why on your first date, Lazimo won't be a killer. I'm to kill a kid too. Mm -hmm. Kathy is my guy. Yes, hi. Hey, <laughs> but do you know, I have a child. Yeah. Hey. Do you know? Enjoy the moment as a as a girl yeah. and a boy. Yes. Then other things will flow. Yeah. And imagine if it was meant to be, a time will come. You will even share it naturally. You'll be like, mm. ah, yesterday my son. They'll be like, oh, your oh, son. Yeah, yeah, I do. Don't walk and around it, it like shocker. it's something on your shoulder. Yeah. Like I have to announce on the first yeah. date. Yeah. Eh, mashida zako. Yeah. Everything on the first day. Acha mkizo yana like acha ni one year. Please enjoy the good side. Acha kwanza kumpatia mashida zako. Acha brother ngo mefukuzwa shule. Nani mwezi tatu? Mama, you know my mom can't so much. The guy is already so tired and is not even bad. 
hata anaona wewe eh. like situation yako inabeba kama mzigo exactly you nakatuwe ni burden already and even the other side the flip side yes. kuna watu wanakujanga na mami issues machali mm. like uko like okay sasa unataka nikufanyie nini like already ashaza will you come and make me uh, usha taniwa to wife na ni the third and maybe there was potential for the relationship to move to the next step red flags mm, exactly red flags no so, the red flags mm, every mm. single person out there single mom even mm. single dad i know there are people who they are, get children before they are married mm. you are also divorced yeah. like mike was divorced yeah. some people your parents your wives die mm. i don't feel any person in this world should be alone mm. loneliness is a very very big killer exactly. being lon- like my own mom is 70 mm-hmm. And I really pray for her to get a boyfriend because mm-hmm. yeah, me I'd welcome that bro- boyfriend. Can you? Yeah, okay. Okay. Ati kuna mtu akumpata dawa zake za pressure. Mama ni wewe. Ati kuna mtu anazampiga ni mama ni mgonjwa ampeleke mimi nakuja niko kwa njia. You know? Do you know because yeah. I worry about her a lot. I don't have to be alone in that big house like it's not fair. No, no. Yeah. So everyone deserves to be happy. There are things my mom can't share with me jumi ni mtoto wake. Mm. So sometimes another person they are partner. Yeah. You know and mm. if that partner happens to love your child and yeah. you can form a family why Not. Why not? Why not? One one toxic relationship does not mean you are doomed. Na hakuna ukianguka hapo town tuna unakaanga hapo town mpaka 2014, 2021, 2022. Waki leo hazikesha na kwaga asubuhi kuna mtu. Kuna mtu ndani. Sasa wewe mbona unajeka kila siku? Unaenda tu hapo kwa berela unashinda hapo. It's okay to respect the memories but please move on. Move on. So Try so, not move on. Sometimes mm-hmm. hard to move on. Leave live life it's for the living yeah, life and, is for the and that's why for me I had here today Keta Chris mm-hmm. because she's an example of living and she does live and you know yeah. she lives with a big spoon I mean. but i hope that every woman outside there yeah. who's had like a relationship that didn't work out mm-hmm. you had babies hata kama ni watatu hata watatu ni wako to kama ni wana saa itaidadi they are yours and also w- una wa feature ya nini you know i was joking with kid that when i was having my wedding you know some people are like are you going to have the kids there? i told them where am i going to take four kids can yeah. i swallow them we can't swallow them you know so my aunts have to come and understand mm-hmm. haya mm-hmm. i married this guy with kids na wako and that's it and the earlier i did it the better mm-hmm. now imagine if i didn't have my step kids at the wedding ninge sema one nani after and even when you look at me they look like he's 26 mm-hmm. like me what is say my evo ti a nini ni tu you know exactly and exactly. also there's nothing as good as owning mm-hmm. your story own your story. Story. Oh, yes. It makes everything mm-hmm. easy. Exactly. Um so before you finish the video hope you guys have enjoyed. I want Kate to give you a parting shot. Yeah. Uh, because next maybe another video we're going to talk about her getting her baby because it took a while and mm-hmm. you know Kenyan netizens eh simu ko amna po shut up na cho. They take over your womb. So I think we need to stop. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, crazy. I'm telling you. So that's it for another day because um I know sometimes when you're in that relationship you really want to have a baby to Mm. for the two of you for the two, for your love yeah. you know and mm. sometimes you struggle not everyone just gets a baby immediately mm. i really struggled myself mm. Mm. so i know how it felt raising so other people's pressure. kids and yeah. then my aunt is eh na wewe taliaga tu wenyewe exactly so There's definitely that pressure that pressure and that doesn't also doesn't help with the conceiving process mm. um that's a story for another day because it's a very interesting topic yeah. Yeah. um and women sometimes you beat yourself up mm-hmm. a lot mm. so it's a topic for another day so let kit give her parting shot yeah. and then until next time guys bye bye mm, so thank you so much Kathy for uh-huh. having me here like um, when you called me I was mm. like oh my gosh this is something i want to talk about because mm-hmm. i get a lot of dms from from single moms and my parting shot is like never settle for less thank you. you're beautiful you're amazing you're capable own your story mm-hmm. that is part of you and go be great Don't be stopped by nobody. And it can be done. It can be done. Mimi wedding yake actress ni gara yangu guy lazima ni redo. Lazima na lazima useme like eh okay to be honest the confidence she had. You deserve it. You know the thing is it was both ways. So fine how maybe her stress was she was had a kid and came to me my me I was there feeling guilty that society makes you feel guilty being a step mom. So when I look back I was like I have to redo my wedding because yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't easy like that's our story for another day the mm. whole the shenanigans mm. around yeah. the wedding and you all that but, but um at the end of the day is between the two of you mm. and i just want to salute the men who stepped oh, in yeah. who took over and just nurtured these children mad 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 respect and god bless you and for not making us feel less mm-hmm. but supporting our dreams and pushing us to be even better moms wives and better women in the society so thank oh. you so much and your blessings are waiting yeah. nothing oh. goes unseen god does not sleep amen <laughs> so until next time guys <laughs> bye bye bye